Ah, yes, grassy hedgehogs. Here we go again. Welcome to Whiskey Mystery. I'm Phil. I just, I just realised that hedgehogs are not common in America, are they? Because <laughs> America doesn't have hedgehogs. Uh, grassy hedgehogs. You know, hedgehog, little, little, crawly animal with spikes. Because this is a spiky whiskey. Uh, so what are we doing? We are blind tasting. Oh, it's a group. It was the group one. It's actually been a couple of weeks because uh, we had a little break and then we had the spring bank last time, uh, which we've just about recovered from. Bottle number 167. I have it loaded up in the viscometer. So why don't we get that started while we talk about other stuff and go. Oh, I was slightly early on the button that time. Four. The next 12 minutes, we will nose it, taste it, rank it somewhere on the shelf from our top 10 all the way down to, oh, Antiquary 21 is on the bottom of the shelf today. Now, we did blind taste yesterday. Oh, that's not grassy at all, is it? Surprise, but it is vanilla. Sucker. Yeah, quite sweet and sugary today. Um, vanilla, maybe ex bourbon. Butter over the cake. Yeah, like icing sugar powder. Oh, I didn't expect that at all because this was very green grass yesterday. Nurse Dave Shaving World, your sister had a pet hedgehog. <laughs> Where? Which country, Dave? In America. Got distracted by that. Well, okay, let's pour something. Um, not what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be much more kind of sour. Right, let's see those bubbles. Pretty healthy bubbles, actually. Healthy, meaning big. Should we go straight to the shake? Why not? Yes, so uh, bigger than 48, surely. Yeah, what about 50? It's funny, the gap between 48 and 50 is so noticeable. Here you go, look, 50 is already pretty frothy and hanging in there, isn't it? 50 and 56 on the other side. Let's see how we're we looking now. That's looking, could be either of those, couldn't it? I'd say if anything, it looks a bit more like the 50. Hmm, yeah, 56 starts to fall off. 54. I think it's above 50. Above above 50, though. I mean, uh, above 48. So 50 to 56 as a as a first guess. Viscometer. Well, that looks quite viscous as well, those numbers. Um, Freshly. Oh, yeah, that is grassy now. It's funny, the sweetness... In the empty glass, it's, isn't there? Yeah, is you it? get that glass. What's the picture with the fucking sucker? Quite a bit of punch on the on the spirit there. Um, it reminds me a little bit of that old Jura that we had. Something along those lines. Um, let's uh, let's go for a water mint. version. A little bit of mint. I'm going to prepare a watery version. It's different for me. Yes, it is not. Let me, uh... A vanilla apple? Vanilla apple. Okay, let's, let's see again. Nice, very nice. It's fresh. There's something dusty, a little bit of Parma violet, which is something you would get in Talisker, but this isn't peated at all. Uh, peppermint. Yeah, peppermint. Peppermint dust. Like very sweet sugar peppermint dust over something that's a bit more grassy um, no. nectarine. This, I'm getting a sweaty socks. Sweaty socks. Yeah, it's got a bit of that as well. I was waiting to see if any sort of funkiness comes but up. At the back, there are, there are, there are, there are, there it's funny, I'm looking at Deepa's notes from yesterday. Vinegar seaweed, fermented cabbage, sweaty socks and a touch of mint. I said, oh, so you don't like it then? She says, oh, no, I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> Whiskey notes. A bit oaky as well now mm. in here. So oak, oaky dust. 
And then that combination of somewhere between a little bit of sweaty sock, but sweet, sweet socks. It's so bright. Dusty, dusty oak coming up in this now. So probably ex-bourbon could be older if it's got that oaky. Hmm, right. Now, I must admit, I didn't like it yesterday very much, and I wasn't really looking forward to I, I today. Like it. I like it. I like this. But I am actually looking forward to it off the nose. Right, the 50% water version. Quite spiky still. Um... It's grass. It's not. Oh. Is it grassy? Uh, dust off. Almost sulfur. Almost sulfur. But it's, I have that. It's a little bit. It's a little bit dirty, like a dirty space side. Like Craig Ellicke's a dirty space side. But it's more of a seaweed. A little bit of seaweed. Is Softer. It, I was going to say it's grassy, but it's not grassy like Deanston, is it? It's um. It's more like a Glen Duckers. Like Glen Talkers or something, honey grass, so sort of a Speyside ish style. Oh, I, oh, I land. How are we doing for time? Uh, let's go full strength and see what strength we think this is. Oh, hang on, there's a little bit of like nutmeg spice with that um, sweet now. Juniper berry back. Hmm, getting complex. Okay, okay you go first. A little bit, yeah. A little bit of roasted nutmeg and oakiness in there. How strong? Is a free um, one sucker of a battery. Mm. It's not too lemony, it's not too sour, it's not too sweet, it's, it's just like right in the middle. But I keep the of the darker. A bit. A bit punchy, so the, the hedgehog name for me is because the second half is quite spiky and sharp. A little harsh. Let me go a little water here. I had the first sip. I thought it's sort of almost separate of the like, oh, of a more and more of it. Okay, so a short finish. So it must be, yeah. So you're thinking it's younger. Um, I'm, I've put a bit of water in mine, so let's see. Hmm. Now there's a drop of water in yours as well. Try this with some more water. Now we're getting into, I think, kind of old malt cast territory. Okay, viscometer. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure someone has shared three fifty six. Dirk, thanks for that. Um, that works out at one hundred and seven percent vis viscosity compared to 40% vodka so that is um, a good we've had a lot in the 106s 107s so a little bit above average Mini, it's really... a little more viscous than others right I think and there are cut stems cut stems are you liking it more or less today well, I'm liking it more I'm just get the butter with the second half get up your hello the first step is fantastic. Mm. With that watered down version, I got a little bit of pineapple that time. So that is going a little Glen Talkers. But it's pineapple with a, there's a spice, like a a green vegetable spicy bite to it. It's bright. It's not that ingambastic finish. It's, I don't know to try the finish, but it's yeah. the, it's ingredient, it's bastic. Hmm. Okay. It's time for some comparisons. Let's see. Better or worse? Also pay attention to the ABV, higher or lower. Wow, a lot of spice. Pepper. Could that makes me think European oak, but all the flavours make me think ex bourbon. But it's not sherry though. No, I think it's, it's, it's sherry if anything. That's why I'm thinking it could be, you know, sort of an old malt cask style older ex bourbon. 
It doesn't taste like the flavour profile that an official bottle would put out, if that makes sense. Very similar. Oh yeah. But it is flavour darker as the stuff of... Mm. Better or worse? Oh, is... which one? Glen... Glen... This is Glen Mori 23. Actually, it has a bit of um, a little bit of a spice kick to it as well. Now, ABV, this is 49.8, oh. so basically 50. I thought that was quite similar. Oh, yeah, it's very similar. Mmm. Mmm. See, now it's tasting that sort of sour grass thing again. All right, one more. I think it's more um, a fermented cabbage. Fermented cabbage. Ooh. But borderline I, enjoyable. But I put, put the sugar over it. <laughs> sugar on fermented cabbage. I don't know if that's um, notes that they would put on the box or not. I, I get it very close. I think I might prefer this. Let me have a go. It's also spice, peppery. Oh, it's not quite how I remember it. This is the Jura that oh, I was talking I about. I cannot recognize. Very similar. Um, but again, old, probably from a, a hogshead, 260. It's one of my favorite. It's not on the shelf because we cleared out independent bottles, but... Um, no, I think it's more a dialed it. Mm. Weaker. It's not very alive. It's, it, a it's a bit too challenging. It's not top shelf for me. Um, okay. I could see it being in here. I think I'd rather have Isla Barley though. Ardmore. I I'd maybe, I'd, I'd put it above the Kilhoman, probably. I don't know. Mmm, close. So what do we think it might be? See, we have, we have a bunch of old malt casks. We have a Ben Rinus 21 year, a Craig Ellicky 22 year, a Longmorn 14, but hang on, I think that's a sherry butt. Um... A little mill, 55.8%. I don't think it's that high. Oh, time's up. Oh no, is there, is there any chance this is DM Liquor Springbank? No. 49.7%. Hang on. You did say minty. No, it can't be. No. If it is, I'm going to cry. What it's, about? It's the mark. It stops. It dips. 52% an Aaron independent bottle. What about Brook Laddie Classic Laddie? That's 50%. We have a Milton Duff. 50.8%. Uh, any chance it's a Ben Nevis? I hope not. I'm not I've been nervous. This is a 23 year ex bourbon. I think the more I try here as a comparison, the less I like today. Yeah, see, that's what I was thinking yesterday. I really hope it's not the Ben Nevis. I don't think there's anything Brook Laddie about it. It's not for me. Okay, make your choice. Um, a 96 Aaron. I'm cheating by looking at the colour. <laughs> what is that? Aaron. I think you get me Aaron. I think we're in the weird single cask arena here. I don't know anything about it. Okay, well, while you... I think I go for Aaron. While you choose... But I'm going for Aaron. Okay. While you choose, I'll go to the chat. You keep looking for a minute. Okay, everybody. How's everyone doing? Who's in? Falsegraph's in. Pete Head. Nurse Dave, we've said hello already. Jimmy Jazz, Jimmy Leg. I saw Gigi in earlier. Just uh, Whiskey 101, Anuj. I'm now scrolling down. Hey, Graham's in as well. Peter Morris, evening all. 
Bruce. Oh, you've gone for the Milton Duff 24, Bruce. Matthias. First guess, Dalyuan 22. Oh, yeah, that's a good guess as well. I haven't even put up this, the... Um, uh, there's a spreadsheet in case somebody wants to see it. Dalyuan. Sweaty socks, Edred Hour. Mm, I don't think it's that... That... Uh, Sweaty. False graph. Let's see. Just before four minutes. Oh, yeah. Right. On the viscometer. Teddy KGB. Sorry I'm late. <laughs> you are excused, Teddy. Thanks for showing up. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Leg. If they did put it on the box, I would buy it. <laughs> Sweaty shot socks and spearmint sugar. It's true. If anyone was brave enough to put those notes... These notes are all over the place. My flavor wheel is spinning. I know, I haven't even put the picture up, but let me put the picture up while I talk because the picture is a bit all over the place as well. Oh, Jimmy Leg, you're thinking it's a Ben Nevis? Memories of we. Oh, you're going classic, laddie? <laughs> Krigeliki 22 <laughs> remains my guess. Oh, lucky. I found a bottle of the Springbank 17 Madeira finish. I was about to ask if this is better than the Springbank 17. So how much did you pay for that, Lucky? It's been um, $290 plus taxes here. I passed on it. Uh, Glenn Berge, 21. Hey, Sasha. Hello, everyone. Oh, and that was from Billy. Right. I think we are. i go for this. Okay, you're going for the Aaron then. Milton Duff, is that a hogshead? It is 50.8%. What's this? 50 even. I don't know anything about Ben Rins. Ben Rins? Ben Rins or Ben Rins? Ben Rins, I think. I don't think it's a Craig Ellicky, do you? No, no, no. I mean, it's not suffering, it's not dirty. It's... Mm. But this is... This is a, a hogshead. Oh no, that's a sherry, but. I think it can be either, maybe this one. Oh. I, d I don't know much about these two. Right. I'll go for Milton Duff. It's on paper because we only have a, a small bottle of it. Are you ready for the reveal? Mm. So you're going for Aaron at 52 and I'm going for Milton Duff at 51%. Okay, get your guesses in. Here we go, ready for the reveal. It is ABV of 50, oh, 50 even. What have we got that's 50 even? Craig Ellicky, Ben Rinnis, classic laddie. But this is, this is a sherry butt. It's got to be that, hasn't it? Before we go any further. Oh, it's from a hogshead. Notes, spicy and grassy with dried herbs, then barley sugar. Mm. Oh, come on, it's gotta be. Palette, sweet and baked quality with spice fruit character. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna go with that finish. Spicy sweetness, then an oak tang mm. lingers on and on. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Billy, a super chat before the reveal. In fact, you'll get two names in the hat for that. Thank you very much. We, we have actually got quite a lot of names in. We haven't done a... We haven't done a... Um, a giveaway. Was that two? <laughs> Glad they caught alive. Hope you're both over the blind Springbank local barley challenge. I tell you, Billy, we had to have a very long lie down after that. There was a moment where going down the stairs was extremely difficult as I was trying to tidy up and we had a very nice sleep, but it was enjoyable. <laughs> right. <laughs> the reveal, part two. We're both in on Ben Rinnis. Anyone else? Kilhoma, ninth edition? But, Surely but, not. But, 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 but about. Ben Rinnis is a space side. Okay, it is 22 years old. Oh. I've been with furry stock. It only cost us 140, I think. Oh, hang on. 
No, it's a space side. Oh yeah, Craig Ellicky's a space side as well. I'm fairly stuck. Oh no. Oh, especially getting suffer, but I know I almost got suffer. I said, do you think it could be Craig Ellicky? Because you said almost sulfur, and I said, well, worm tubs and Craig Ellicky. But I didn't uh, expect uh, it to uh, be this grassy. Uh, that's a bomb for us. Old malt cast, 50%. Where's the bottle? Oh, it looks quite dark in the bottle. Let me put this up so we can have a little look. That's not so good, is it? Let me tip the camera a bit, Let's see if that helps. Okay, can you read? One of 450 bottles from a sherry butt. Well, you, okay, to be fair, look, Deeper did have sherry in the notes and I crossed it out going, no, surely not. And um, single cask was distilled in 1995. What are their notes then? Caramel, ripe berries and red apples. No. <laughs> Toffee, milk, chocolate and lemons. Long and warming with lingering oak. Well, I guess we agree on the lingering oak. Funky cabbage, Craig Ellicky. I believe it, Jimmy Leg. Mm. And Anthony said for finity. Lingering. That's right. Oh, yeah. You've used the word lingering in your notes. Let's try it from the bottle. I, uh, I got it done with the first sip. But I'm just the bottle with the second ass. You know, I brought up Craig Ellicky 17 as a possible um, comparison. And then once we were tasting it, I was just... Kind of like, no, it's not Craig Ellicky. Let's try it to the, compared to the official bottle of the 17, because we have that here. And this this was slightly cheaper at 117. Now it's only 46%. Uh, you go buy that again. Yeah. Do you want to do a quick blind? Yeah, I'll give you blind. Okay, close your eyes. But you know, but you're Close your eyes. <laughs> Okay, let's see which one's deeper going to taste first. Similar, similar. Okay, so saying the similar. Tasting this one. Sharp and bright. Sharp and bright. Of, uh, I'm a vine. Okay. I think it's 17. Okay, deeper thinks that's the 17. It's more alive. Too watery. Too watery. It's very tired. It's two days. No, it's the opposite. Oh! Because the watery one is 46%. Let me try it. Oh. Uh. Mmm. Okay. It's got a bit of that prickle at the end about it. More toffee in that one, though. And it's more balanced overall. Whereas today's... Let me try again. Yeah, grassy. That's what I prefer today. I do like it more after trying the 17. Yes, I, I prefer this more. I think it. That's funny. This is a little, a little sweeter, a bit more. You know, manipulated towards a, a soft, a mellow, maybe. But I think it's not that, um, but, um, I'm a fine, sharp. Just... Okay, so at $141, that works out at $5.5 per year. It's certainly not bad value in terms of age and ABV. So in that sense, the old malt cask wins again. So maybe the funkiness is the worm tub. But that's a very refill sherry barrel, I would imagine. Mm. Hmm. What to do with it now? I guess we'll put it, have to put it here for now. But we'll, I think I'm a prefer. We'll do a little um, post-show decision-making right over to the chat 
let's see how we're doing. Uh, chatty chat. Who got that? Let's see. Lucky. Uh, that's Springbank 17 Sherry Wood. We don't have that one, Jason. Well, Andrew, let's see. We were right on the independent bottle. Yes, it didn't feel like it was uh, controlled enough for an official release. I'd recommend checking out Tom and Tool Peated or the Balekin from Edward Hour. Oh, you're talking to Richard. Yes, we did like the um, old Ballantruan. Funky Cabbage Cricket. Oh, yeah, that's right. We've got that, Jimmy. I think I was first to have guessed it. Oh, Peated, you got it? Fantastic. Whiskey 101, you get half a point, Phil, as you did say you thought you were in old malt cask territory. Yeah, I don't know if that really qualifies for half a point when you say it's an independent bottle, <laughs> but it could be any distillery. Uh, lucky, oh yeah, you're talking about the Madeira finish, right. How much was that? Lucky, did I miss the price? Richard, I'm down in South Wales, UK. Ah, yes. Done. Donna Pass. Hi, everyone. Just got there. Mood to move. I'm surprised that you said sweaty socks and cabbage, but deepest finishing comments were that it wasn't dirty or sulfuric. I think you were both on track, but maybe the complexity caused confusion. Yeah. I mean, it is, you know, when it whenever it's a single cask, an independent bottle single cask, um, it is quite specific the flavors that you're going to get isn't it and may not reflect general categories <laughs> let's see so i think pete head we're going to give fireworks to pete head and pete head of course you know what to do top shelf bottom shelf deeper side fill side in the middle you can see i've been slowly oh, no, removing the, uh, the bottles I think, uh, top shelf back Grassy. Just underneath Grassy Hedgehog. <laughs> okay, let's say in the back, it's going to be here. Our new bottle. Number 168. Wow, getting up there, isn't it? Bottle number 168, picked by Pete Head. Let's see, what are we going to get? One more sip on this before we move on. I would. Uh, uh, first, it's pretty yeah. it's in yummy. It's wonderful. I would have to say, I like it more now. I know it's Craig Ellicky. I know. <laughs> I, 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 but, uh, <clears throat> but the very beginning, but I wouldn't say that it's not enough to make me want to buy that I stick it off. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. New bottle. Here we go, Peter. Let's get a close yeah, up. It, uh, what are we going to get? It could be a bourbon, remember? No, doesn't look like it. We have been waiting for a bourbon to show up for months now. Off you go. So bubbles don't look too high. Anything peaty? Oh. <laughs> Burnt tulips. Okay, go ahead. Thanks everyone for watching. We will be back on Sunday to find out what is 168, 9, 8. Oh, I have an idea. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Mm. Yes, I'm very clear. We will see you. <laughs> on Sunday. Do you like that? Do you like it? I'm not sure it's so different. Yeah. Okay. Sunday it is. Have a good rest of the evening, day, Thursday. Hope everyone is doing well. Uh, let's see. Ralph, you are very late. <laughs> see you on Sunday. <laughs>